It is the battle of a generation. We're talking David versus Goliath. The rebellion versus the empire. Thor versus Loki. Apple versus Microsoft. And of course we can talk about all the things that Apple versus Microsoft have been in the past, but this video is more, well, what's my take on it? Who, which operating system do I like more? Which, well, which company do I follow more? And I know a lot of you are gonna say, well, it's gonna be Apple. It's gotta be Apple. I mean, it's gotta be Apple. And I can't see why you guys would truly, truly say that. But, in all, in all honesty, yes, I do use a Windows PC. I do have a MacBook Pro, wear Apple Watch, Apple iPhone, but these are my, my thoughts and takes on the difference between the actual computing systems. So, at no point is there anything about Android or Microsoft phones in here, the iPhones or tablets. This is strictly PC versus Mac. Apple versus Microsoft and which do I truly prefer so why do I like Apple well now for the time the way things are price to performance I don't think you can beat the MacBook Pro but also don't think operating system is all that bad as many people might think it is the ever since Apple launched its own chips <clears throat> and the new MacBook 13 inch MacBook Pro 8 core 8 gig um, 8 gigs of RAM I got the 512 gigabyte SSD model you really can't beat what Apple has brought to the table with its sleek design all aluminum chassis and Apple by far has always had, I thought, the best trackpad when it comes to mobile computing. What the typing, not the worst, but definitely improvement over the butterfly key switches of like the MacBook and the MacBook Pros of yesteryear. So this kind of performance at this price point <clears throat> plus an all-day battery makes the MacBook and Apple I think the, the top contender for well mobile computing and that is why I, I think Apple will still reign supreme for some time to come in the mobile industry so then what is it that I really like about well Windows if I'm such a huge well, Apple boy, Apple fanboy. Well, this is where I think Apple has really missed the mark. <clears throat> they have beautiful, sleek computers that are basically unmodular. You might be able to add a little bit of RAM or something, but that's about it. <clears throat> Unless, of course, you're going for the big Mac Pro that starts at $6,000. Now, Honestly, I went kind of overkill because I'm trying to build a what they call future-proof editing Windows machine here by going with the 16-core Threadripper, maxing out the RAM, at, or I could actually upgrade the RAM, but having 128 gigs of RAM, going with the 2080, like I, I went all out, 49-inch monitor with another 27-inch monitor above it. I mean, you can't... All of this was basically six grand. And for six grand with Apple, all you get is a very low end, kind of modular computer that maybe you can build up over time, but you have to have the lowest chip. And it's an Intel chip. When you're building Windows, obviously I went with AMD. You can go with Intel, you can go with AMD. There's so many options 
and it is very modular. <clears throat> Just the other night, I added another NVMe M.2 one terabyte hard drive in here to edit off of something that gave me a little more it's a little faster and I can use the hard drives more just for storage instead of trying to edit off of them I can if I wanted to I could again upgrade the RAM I could upgrade the GPU to a 3090 heck if I could start all over and go with a, a different uh, chip CPU if I if I fully wanted but I'm able to not just edit, I can game on this. I can, so many things I can do. And all of this was just barely six grand, maybe a little over six grand. Again, with Apple, all you get is the computer. Oh, you want their monitor too? That's five grand. Oh, you need a stand for it? <laughs> Another thousand dollars. To have a machine that would, that would smoke mine will cost you close to $52,000 and that's before you even get even get a monitor. Well, for fifty-two thousand dollars, I can build at least two sixty-four core CPUs with thirty nineties. Actually, I could probably run two thirty nineties in the SLI. Tons of hard drive space and SSDs. I could go with uh, instead of one hundred twenty-eight, two hundred fifty-six gigs of RAM. I could custom water cool each of those rigs. I could have the newest 49 inch uh, G9 monitor uh, Neo which is mini LED and still not come close to the cost of Apple's big machine this is where Windows wins when it comes to desktops I think Windows is the ultimate the best and the support for, and the community for Windows is by far head and shoulders above Apple when it comes to well all the stuff you can get all the peripherals all the all the little stuff that you can do with a Windows machine that is just well it's just out there it's it's anything you want anything you can need it's there and it's it's really good I have no complaints uh, there are a few little quirks just like there is with Apple but all in all end of day end of the day I love this machine. I so much I can do with it. So much I enjoy with it and try to get stuff done with it. This is where, for me, the work happens. So, which one would I choose? Well, luckily, I'm fortunate enough to have both a MacBook and a Windows machine. Now, depends on your situation. Can you afford both? I'd say get both. Do you need good mobile computing that isn't for gaming? Well, then you can't beat the MacBook Pro. I mean, or even the MacBook Air, to be honest with you. Starting at $899 or 999 I think I've seen it as low as 799 here recently. The type of performance you get out of it, plus an all-day battery. I mean, I have yet to kill this battery in a single use case and that could be eight to ten hours in a warehouse and yet it still has 40 30 percent 30 to 40 percent of battery still left so constant emails remote desktops and i still haven't been able to kill it so the pricing is well yeah you can't beat that uh but if you need a lot of power you do want to do some gaming well then you cannot beat a windows desktop so all right guys well that's my video hope you enjoyed it and uh well i'll see you tomorrow peace